So the fourth and what I consider the, you know, the fourth and final version of modulations that you can add in addition uh, to this case. So please keep in mind, before I cover all the benefits of the harmony is all of this stuff can be used at the same time. And that just in increases the effectiveness of what the scape, this type of setup can do. But the Harmony is one of the newest Spooky 2 products um, on the market. What this is now giving us the ability to do is to bring audio modulations into that active energy field. Um, I use this a lot for meditation, for um, relaxation, for stretching, for yoga classes um, uh, in my own gym. Like I said, it's something uh, very, very easy to do with regards to how you are bringing in healing remedies or healing beats uh, or both at the same time in this instance into your active energy field that you simply have to sit in to, to receive the benefits of how that works. And so one of the nice things that I do want people to notice is that the little imprint on this thing allows you to be able to set the, the harmony on the actual receiver plate, but still be able to set either pills or any type of essential oils on top of the receiver coil as well. So you don't have to just worry about using one or the other. In this instance, you can use both. So, <clears throat> okay, the Harmony itself, uh, like I said, is just a, a, a audio modulation means for bringing audio into it. Um, normally what you will do is, is after you connect this to the receiver plate, you will use this cable to connect to your audio source on um, your phone, your um, I iPad, or I, you know, some type of music source that has all your music directory on it. And then from there, you can bring in any type of healing beats, uh, meditation, music, anything that you would like to add. Now, one thing that I will clarify on this is that the little speaker on, on this is not designed as like a it's like I said, it's not a boom box, you know, it's not designed to like uh, something that you would take to the beach and jam out with. Um, all this is doing is it's bringing the actual modulations of whatever audio source that you're bringing in on the receiver side into that active energy field on a molecular level. And so, like I said, it's uh, designed to just uh, benefit from, uh, for example, there are a lot of people that use this particular type of setup or system for, let's say, depression, because um, a lot of the times music is very, very powerful with regards to healing um, or the ability to reach people on different levels. Um, this is even on a whole nother level. Simply by adding music or beats that are um, designed to, you know, help benefit, you can now bring those modulations into that active energy field sitting between the two cases. And like I said, you're now bringing audio in addition to molecular or you know anything rife modulation wise all at the same time in between those two cases so like i said one of the you know biggest uh benefits i guess you can say with regards to what this scalar case is and has the potential of doing is using frequency imprinting um the transmitter case where you actually plug the power in and everything like that has a coil as well and that coil is used for frequency imprinting so I have done lots and lots and lots of experiments with this, and I have found this to be one of the most efficient means and methods for doing frequency imprinting, um, be simply because of the fact that you're not just imprinting a, a, a frequency into a crystalline structure, um, but I have had a lot of success with imprinting uh, using like a 30 milliliter solutions, something like this, where you're using... Um, a carrier oil or a distilled water solution and you're just simply setting that on the transmitter uh, of the of the scalar case and when you're doing that you are imprinting whatever rife modulations or uh, molecular modulations audio you know anything that you're putting into that scalar field is going to imprint into that imprint coil and whether you know whatever it is that you place on that so in this instance i'm going to give you a for example for an example of something that i've done um, in the past um, what you're actually seeing here on the screen is, is um, I've actually used the, uh, the Spooky 2 uh, scalar case to cure a 20-year morphine addict. Um, when I met uh, this particular person, um, she was taking, on average, five medications a day um, of extended release medications. Um, when I first met her, um, I started running frequency modulations uh, using the remote uh, for uh, things like endorphin release and morphine sulfate. And uh, over the course of six months, we were able to work down her tolerances, taper her down and remove her completely on from drugs 
completely 100% within six months with zero withdrawal. And again, that's not zero withdrawal. Every single day um, was a very intense and very rough battle with regards to keeping up and staying on top of, you know, the issues of what were arising from having drugs in your body for such a long period of time and the process of what she was going through with working them out. And so how this case works is, is what we were doing is, is we were taking one of her medications and sitting that on the receiver side of the case. Um, we were then bringing in frequency modulations for, uh, in this instance, we were using morphine sulfate and endorphin release. Um, and we were bringing that into the scalar case. And while we were doing that, then she was simply um, sitting in between the two cases and I was imprinting using these 30 milliliter solutions on the receiver side with the high quality distilled water. And so after about 20 or 30 minutes, um, she would feel fine uh, with regards to the effectiveness of uh, how the molecular modulation was being imprinted into her. So basically what was happening is, is she was having an endorphin release in her body that would trigger the effectiveness like she had taken that medication herself, even though she didn't. And so over the course of time, that allowed us to build and break down her tolerances. And simply uh, throughout the course of the day, as she felt issues or symptoms of some type of withdrawal coming on, then she would simply take one of these water uh, distilled solutions take the top off and drink that real quick. And again, something like that it was a very unique situation because we specifically you know, designed custom imprinted water for her. And when she sat in between the two scalar cases, we're basically building that specific for her DNA. So this method um, was what we used to effectively stair step down without any, you know, you know, massive trips to any type of uh, recovery centers or anything like that. We use nothing other than frequency resonance um, to get her completely back. But I will tell you that this has been, um, you know, very, very uh, empowering and something uh, incredible to be a part of and to be able to watch the life um, come back into her and to watch um, her gain mobility uh, again, even at uh, her stage in life where she was age wise. Um, it was quite breathtaking to watch someone actually you know understand but so much so that um after after we actually got her down and, and and broke free she purchased a scaler herself and then i trained her on how to use it because um she understood what was you know the reasoning behind this and and uh, her ability to drive and be her own controller with regards to things that her body needs or what her body was telling her and was something very easy for her to do and so like i said this was um, just a one case scenario, but um, the process for using the scalar cases for imprinting. And in this instance, like I said, I use distilled water. Um, you can also use uh, oil, you know, distil distilled oils, or excuse me, uh, oil-based solutions like carrier oils, uh, sweet almond base. Um, there are lots of them like that, that when they, for the most part, oils, they have to do absolutely nothing, you know, if they're a carrier oil. But when you start using frequency imprints and putting frequencies that are imprinted into the crystalline structure of that oil, and then you apply that oil topically to the body, once it absorbs through the skin, it works very, very effectively. So literally, the sky is the limit with regards to, you know, to any frequency that you wanted to pull out of the, the Spooky2 database can then be put into a oil or a water-based solution from an imprint. Um, and the scalar case is the best means for doing that because you simply have to bring the frequencies in, you know, to the transmitter case, add whatever you want to onto the receiver side of that case. Uh, in that case, like I said, honey, um, any type of plants, um, anything that you would like to add, uh, essential oils, that anything that would, you would find beneficial, you can add to that. And then as you sit in between those two cases, simply set either a glass of water or something like this on the on the transmitter case and you can imprint directly into that um so like i said it uh my you know one of my favorite things to do is to test you know different imprinting and so i on average i use different frequencies to do imprinting i do a lot of 528 hertz imprinting and i also do a 7.83 hertz and the two different types of frequencies just generally take different amounts of time because of where they are in the frequency range. Like uh, I can normally do a 528 hertz frequency imprint in a couple of hours. And 7.83 or Schumann resonance will generally take me about two days. 
but I've had certain situations um, and the <clears throat> way that I can kind of tell that a frequency has been effectively imprinted into something is by freezing it. Um, so when I first started doing this, um, I, like I said, I would test different things for how long that you would imprint for the types of frequencies that you were in or, you know, different kinds of frequencies you were imprinting with to see what would happen at one hour or two hours or 45 minutes or three hours, you know, to see the type of what reaction that would happen after you took that water that was a standard distilled solution to start with and then imprinted it for a different time phases. So what you're looking at here is a 528 imprint after three hours. Um, and you can kind of tell that when you're freezing um, uh, water that's been imprinted with frequencies, it will have a clear, almost looks like running water look appearance to it. Um, very see-through. Unlike uh, control substances that, like, uh, for example, I, I uh, was freezing tap water and freezing just regular distilled at the same time, but they have a very, very white, you know, like hazy center to it. And so you can kind of tell the difference um, when something's actually been imprinted. Um, the amount of time that that will then stay imprinted on there can, can vary. But normally, like I said, uh, the once you put it in, like I said, it tends to stay in there. Um, and like I said, it... Um, you know, like I said, maybe in a month or so, it's, it is going to work its way out over time. So it's not going to stay in there forever. But I've had certain situations where I'm doing, like I said, frequency imprinting with 528 hertz. And I'll imprint that for a week and then two weeks. And then I'll still test and it still freezes and looks just like what you see on the screen. And so that tells me that the frequency is still imprinted, still working in, the, in that water. Um, but the... And, you know, like I said, this is just one method of being able to use kind of one aspect of what the scalar case can do. Uh, the transmitter and the ability to imprint things. Um, in this instance, um, you can kind of see in this picture here, I was using a, a, a mason jar because it was it held a thousand milliliters of distilled water. And it was easier um, than trying to do six or seven of these at a time. If I simply did the whole thing over a, a you know three or four day period of time and then just distributed them out into smaller bottles, it was much, much more effective and easier to kind of manage that way. Here, I'm hoping that I can snag and get to everybody's questions tonight. But if for any reason that I can't get to the questions uh, live tonight, don't worry, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, like I said, uh, my website again is a freak, F -R -E -Q com. My um, best email address is going to be freakfre-q-llc at outlook.com. Um, and again, on my website, I have my uh, contact number. Please feel free to call. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm very open. I, I will take calls pretty much from anybody. If you have a question or you would like to talk um, or get a little bit better information, then please feel free to reach out. Um, those are normally the best methods for getting a hold of me. Um, like I said, if you go onto my website, again, that's fre-q.com and just use the contact me link, um, fill out your information. Like I said, normally within about 24 hours, I will respond back and get back to you. Um, same thing um, with regards to the training opportunities. Uh, training opportunities are available for both training, mentoring, uh, any topic, any session uh, that you guys would like to cover or work on um, are available uh, through the Spooky2 Academy. So please feel free to seek me out on there and I will be more than happy to schedule and work with anybody on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Okay. It says, uh, will there be more uh, effective, would, would this be more effective for an elder, um, again, with different stages? So the, the reason why I like this or find this particular method with regards to healing as the effectiveness, you know, like when you're talking about radio frequencies, um, the, there, are two, there are two avenues that you're traveling. You know, you have the killing avenue and you have the healing avenue. And with killing and your, you know, your pathogenic threats and things like that, the, the absolute king over there on that side is the plasma. Whereas with healing, the scalar is the, the is the is the is the is the king of the castle um, with regards to healing. So, but the effectiveness, particularly like uh, with seniors and stuff like that, is the ease of use um, for this case. It's not very difficult to be able to simply set it up, plug it in, link it, and tune it to be able to sit in between the two cases and benefit from them. Um, but the effectiveness of it, like I said, is is like I said, it's. I witness it firsthand to see the effectiveness of certain things that you can do with this case. So there's no particular situation that you'll run into issue or ailment wise that wouldn't be more beneficial by introducing a solution through the scalar field. Um, like I said, it's 
in my in my opinion, like I said, this is one of the most effective methods for being able to not only effectively use and amplify radio frequencies, but then when you're introducing them into the scalar field, and like I said, this is really just um, icing on the cake, if you will. But with regards to answering your question, yes, the scalar is going to be by far far more effective method for delivering frequencies to the body versus a remote. Um, and you're simply talking about different levels of amplification. You know, the scalar is an amplified version. So the ability to be able to sit in between it to bring mo molecular or rife modulations into that is going to be far more effective, uh, particularly for someone uh, senior in age, than running simply re simple remote ap remote based applications. Um, so hope that helps answer that question. Okay, guys, thank you so much um, for everybody tuning in this evening. I hope I was able to answer all your questions. Um, we are, like I said, right around the 4th of July, so I want to wish everybody a happy 4th. Um, please be safe out there. Um, please feel free to reach out with any additional questions that you may have. Um, and again, thank you so much for everybody for tuning in tonight and being a part of this Spooky 2 uh, tutorial for the Scalar system. I hope everybody uh, got all their questions answered. And uh, like I said, it was such a pleasure to be able to pre present this information to you. Please feel free to reach out to me if you guys have any additional questions. Um, like I said, this case has helped change my life and other people's lives that I've been working with. And so... Um, like I said, please, if anybody has questions or issues or anything that they'd like to discuss with that, please feel free to reach out. Like I said, this is a, um, like it's something that I'm very, 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 very grateful to have in my life and to be able to help others better understand how to use this uh, setup. So um, thank you guys so much. And uh, like I said, please feel free to reach out with any additional questions. I will always uh, field and answer any type of questions to the best of my abilities.